Good morning, Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent. Sunday morning walk. Look down the street in Bay Ridge, you see all the flags. It's like the flag tour. You see all the flags, the American flags. I don't know what this one is. This one's black and white. Patriotic Americans. Patriotic Americans. So, it's been a good week. Going on my Monday walk. It's a Sunday walk. It's nice and early in the morning. Sunrise. Look at all the flags. Flags, flags, flags. So we had a good, we're having a good, uh, you guys having a good time yet? <laughs> Sanitation supervisors, you having a good time? I bet you didn't, you didn't expect all this, right? You didn't, nobody expected all of this. So, a um, couple of good things came in. I, li I love what uh, someone dumped on me. You see how a little, just taking your phone and sweeping it over some evidence and dumping it on me? Um, see how powerful that is? Now we, we have six, 206 book evidence. There's other evidence to come out, but that's that's significant because it's, it's recent. It shows that the DSMY has learned nothing and continues to keep a tally because again if you if you go back and listen to Burke's audio he says supervisors you could use if you could spot trends then you could you know translate that transmute that to your to your to your agents that's bullshit that's that's code word for that's code word for Tell them, hey, go over there and do posting, or go over there and follow people with, you know, the canine or something. It's just switching the, it's just moving the goalpost again. It's more, more tickets, so it's coming. That's why they're keeping the tally. All right, but keep that. It's uh, it, that's important. Keep that, keep that info. You know, coming because anything that, anything that you have. Right or see that you think that might be, you know, might be valid in this. Just go ahead and send it. What do I know? Conti doesn't know everything. Uh, what else do I want to say? Oh, 65 subscribers. We're doing good. 13 over 13,000 people viewed viewed these videos. 13,000 people. That's a lot of people. That's not just you know. That's not just a handful, right? Uh, oh, I'm on my Sunday bench. My favorite bench in the whole world. Woo-wee! Where's the pigeons? No pigeons yet. Uh, I'm still open to interviews. I wanna, I wanna talk to people. Anybody who has, you know, hands-on experience uh, at the SMY, some supervisors, you know. Most importantly, look, look. The, the thing with, uh, the thing with uh, Little Fair with the with the religious discrimination thing. Right? It looks like, you know, the supervisor was just following an order. Write him up, right? Write him up for something he's being told to do it. Is that what's going on? So if that's the case, that's not acceptable. It's not acceptable, right? And you don't get a pass for that, for writing somebody up because somebody else told you to do it. That's, the, that's suspension of critical thinking, right? You can't do that. That's, that's fucked up, right? You're guilty. If you write somebody up, you sign your name to it. You did it. Now, if if you're gonna, if you want to turn around and say, "Well, somebody told me to do it," well, then come forward and say somebody told me to do it. Okay. The other the other business of um, I just want to put some of this. I I have like uh, the employee uh, employees use of social media, right? There's a lot of these kind kinds of things floating around, and. Um, I just want to I want to read you something from from one of them. It's this is the this is the warning that the city gives you. I know I know that there's, you know, there's uh what is it called? It's code of conduct city policy, right? That you're you're supposed to not be able to <laughs> post on social media, right? But again, first amendment right. You have a you have a right to free speech. They they you can't the, those kind of rules can't be impinged on you. You can't prevent someone from participating in social media that's speech that's that's what that is social media is speech i'm speaking to my friends the public it doesn't matter 
right? Because they don't like it because it hits a big audience. Well, fuck you, you know? That's the way it goes. I'm not going to curse on Sunday morning. You know, screw you. <laughs> okay, so it says, here's right from the, right from the uh, page. The SMY, employees participating in social media are subject to code of conduct and city policies, even when engaging in social media while off-duty. Even engaging in social media while off-duty. Well, where else do you engage in social media? Social media is social. It's, then it is work, right? So that's stupid. For example, be aware that being uncivil or discourteous or engaging in conduct tending to bring the city into disrepute or engaging in harassing or discriminatory conduct are prohibited by the code of conduct and city policy. Engaging in such behavior online, even in a personal capacity, may subject an employee to disciplinary action. In addition, all postings on social media must comply with all laws and agency rules and policies regarding the confidentiality of information. Okay, so the, the key word there is dis, disrepute, bringing the city into disrepute. And that's where we fight, right? Because, again, city policy, uh, what we've seen with the SNY, uh, it's my only experience, so, is that um, you're guilty till proven innocent. All the rules are rigged in their favor. They, they write the disciplinary events that occur are all done in chain of command. They're done in a kind of a Ponzi scheme, kind of a... You know a uh, pyramid scheme, and and um, right. So that's about as dis disreputable as you could be. You're dis you're you're discrediting the the city and the agency by attacking people second party and third party, right? So the dis the disrepute is you, right? It's you. So anybody who turns around and says, for example, something like this that this is my use of social media. I'm not an employee, so it doesn't apply to me, but I'm, I'm talking about you. If you turn around and you you expose corruption, that's not putting the city in disrepute. That's working on behalf of the city. You're helping the city, right? So don't ever, don't let them confuse that issue. You're doing, by, by coming forward and by participating in a, in a proceeding like this, you're helping the city. You're cleaning out. You're, you're like, uh, I hate to use Trump's term, but you're draining the swamp, right? That's what you're doing, right? You're, you're trying to get rid of all this, oh, it's politically correct. Oh, I'm a supervisor and I'm following orders and I'm doing as I told, I'm told and I do it politely and gently. And if you say anything, then if you speak up, then you're disruptive and argumentative. And no, fuck all that. That's all bullshit, right? It's all bullshit. That's that's disrepute because you're, you're you're tying people's hands behind their back and you're 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 not allowing you're smearing the truth by doing that. So that's all I want to say today, this morning anyway. Maybe I'll come up with something later. But uh, more to come on the uh, the Burke uh, audio that that uh, audio that was dumped on me by uh, Chuck Palumbo. I'm going to go more into that because there's a lot of there's a lot of revelations that that Burke. Uh, gave away there's a lot of you know incoherent strategy that he's planning because because again they don't know what the fuck they're doing they don't know what they're doing right they get caught their, their leg is in the trap and and uh, it, you know just keep just keep squeezing them and we'll, we're gonna we're gonna win this thing <laughs>